Education agencies are racing to make changes before legislative reforms take effect July 1st. Not much will change with special education funding this year since AEAs will get to keep 100% of those funds. But significant changes are coming to media services and education services through AEAs this fall. State Capitol reporter Connor Hendricks joins us live with how AEAs are trying to prepare. Well, Beth and Jim, this year is a transition year of sorts for the AEAs. These AEAs provide resources like education services, those media and literacy coaches, as well as media services, which help with things like IT and technology. Beginning July 1st, AEA school districts rather will only have to send 40% of their funds to the AEAs to cover it. I spoke with two AEA chief administrators who say people are leaving because of this. Cindy Yellick is with Heartland AEA in Central Iowa. They won't fill 50 open positions, which means less flexibility in services. However, she says they're working to preserve as much frontline staff as possible and parents shouldn't be worried. Dan Cox is with Northwest AEA and he says about 10% of their staff or roughly 30 employees are leaving. For example, that means parents might have access to six literacy coaches rather than eight. Both say making changes has been incredibly difficult. There's grieving because people have really invested in that um, equity of services across the state for years. Um, I would also say that um, there's part of it that is a challenge that is um, invigorating to people. To it's just the, the unknown and then the volume of support from the public that said, hey, no, stop, slow this down. And then to have that just kind of, you know, brushed aside and, and changes made anyway. Cox says parents should continue to ask teachers and their school superintendents about how changes to services will look at their school. Both AEA chiefs say next year will be even tougher. That's when these public school districts won't be required to use the AEAs for education and media services at all if they don't like if they don't want to. Live at the Iowa Capitol Bureau, Connor Hendricks, KCRG TV9 News.